Well, I have some good news. Um, as you know, I've had an editing problem recently to find a good video editing program, and I think I have my problem almost solved. And why do I say almost? Um, well, the device I'm currently filming with is my um, iPod Touch, and as you know, I use stop motions on that right now. And whenever I plug it into my computer, it won't find the photos, which is very strange. And it won't find the photos, and it won't let me import them. But, like, um, I'm going to be making another video today showing um, what you would like me to use for films like this. Or um, my camera I have here. It's a bit older camera, but it takes really nice photos. But the only downside would be, like, I just plug in my... SD card to the computer and I would use iMovie to do it all but the thing is if you know how iMovie works with stop motion the frames per second will be a bit choppier and right now I've been looking for a stop motion program on the app store I found one for like five bucks but it's got like bad reviews and stuff and all the good ones are like thirty nine ninety nine, four nine ninety nine. dollars well I don't have to write software for it or pretty annoying um, so I think I have found a good editing replacement for now, um, which is iMovie for the Mac. And why didn't I use this earlier, you ask? Because it wasn't, it wasn't, um, working very, very, um, correctly. It wasn't working well. Um, the reason for that is because it was getting really slow and laggy, the program. And so I need to delete, um, delete some old, long videos I had not really sped everything up. So that can really help. The thing is, um, it just won't let me import them from my iPod Touch, so I, um, I might be using my camera again, which, if you saw my videos in around late 2012, um, you'll, you'll know how those went. They were pretty well, they were, they were pretty good, um, the photo quality was really, really nice, but the frames per second was a bit choppy and there's nothing I can do to have to solve that right now, sadly.